being in this house, seeing the lamp that we bought and um, the rug that we bargained for when we were coming back from Niagara Falls. My, my. Reminds me that this house is just as much mine as it is yours. Tony, this house belonged to me before I ever even met you, but you know, if you want the rug, take it. Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? Tell all your friends. He barged into my house and he started dragging out the furniture. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I do my best to never mention your name. I know. It's okay. I know how important it is for you to hate me. The only thing that's important about you is keeping you away from Lucas. Why is that? Is it because I'm such a terrible father or because I left you for a younger woman who happened to be your daughter? It's because you degenerated into a raving lunatic. And what have you degenerated into? A lonely, desperate woman who pulls down her covers for a sleazeball with ties to organized crime. How I spend my time and who I spend it with is really none of your business. Well, if you were alone, I would watch with pleasure while you slept your way to destruction. But I will not stand by while you expose my son to crooks, phonies, and who knows what else. Everything I do, every person I bring into this house is done with Lucas in mind. He doesn't need you to protect him. Well, this petition grants me a hearing in front of a judge. If I don't win, then I'll just get another petition for another hearing, and I will continue to petition to see my son until I exhaust every judge in the county, because you will not keep me from my son. Dad? 